Let's talk about how to measure a horse and how to determine its height because there is a standard for measuring horses and we use a unit of measure called hand. And it's equivalent to four inches. One hand equals four inches. And basically what it comes down to is if you take your hand from here to here, it is equal to, at least in my case, about four inches. And if I lay it here on the measuring stick, it starts at 12 and ends up at 13. And it'll show you that it's approximately one hand. And the system was developed in England many, many years ago where they would take a hand and put it on the ground, another hand, and keep stacking them. But today we're a little more sophisticated. We have a measuring stick that will measure for us. We want to put it down near the hoof on the ground, make sure that it is vertical to the ground, that the horizontal bar that comes across will slide down on top of the withers, and we've got to make sure we get down to the withers, get through a little bit of that, that mane, and get our bubble on the level approximately at the correct height. And then we can stand here and say how tall this horse is, and he is based on this, 14 hands, 0.1 inch. So if you are buying a horse, be sure to have this horse measured before you buy it so you know how accurate the measurement itself is. It's really important because you'll find a wide variety of Gypsy Vanner horses in a range of 13 hands to 15 hands, and it's important for you to know historically the height of the animal so that as you develop a breeding program, you know what heights you're working with from a genetic point of view.